Hey guys, Leon here, great to have you back. Today we're gonna to work on one of the final designs in the Dell XPS design series. Um, today we're gonna to focus a little bit more on Claude Dynamics. So we're gonna be using X Particles, Cinema 4D, and Octane Render. And another twist to this is that we're gonna be using the Dell XPS laptop to see if it's actually creator ready, as they say. So let's take a look at what we're working on. As you see here, we're going to focus a little bit more on the organic shapes of the cloth material. And I'm going to show you guys how to add some textures to the cloth material. So as you see, we're going to be working a lot on the just the cloth, the cloth simulations. So um, yeah, let's get right into it. So first you will want to create a X particles cloth. And then from here, let's break, make the plane a little bit larger. Let's go 500. Uh, let's give it some more segments to get a little more detailed. And let's go into the, the actual cloth deformer. Let's now let's remove the gravity, don't need that. In the cloth deformer, let's increase dampening to 100%. So let's create some turbulence. So let's go to X particles, modifier, motion, and let's add some turbulence motion. So let's see what that does at default. So at default, it does nothing. So what we want to do is uh, increase the scale and increase the strength a little bit more. Let's increase the scale a little bit more. Like 700. Let's increase the strength. Let's increase the scale to like 1. 175. Let's increase the strength a little bit higher. Like 900. Some extremities. Oh! Cool. I mean, we can always modify it down if we want to. Yeah, so we kind of have our cloth here. Let's increase the scale a little bit more. So as you can see, the, the smaller the scale, the more details you're going to get with the wrinkles. So good, I'll say a good, we did it around like say 225, let's have it. Yeah, some solid numbers. Okay, let's see, uh, you can mess around with a noise type if you want to. You can try uh, Simplex, let's try it out a bit, let's see what that does. Well, it gives us a little bit more crinkle. It does give us a little bit more. Let's bring it down a little bit. Yeah, it looks pretty, pretty cool. All right, uh, next. Let's make this scene a little bit longer to get a little bit more animation out of it. All right, cool. So. Our basics are covered right now. You can just see modify the octaves a little bit more. So since we got our our basic shape that we want for our cloth, let's add some texture to it. So here we have our our cloth here in all white. I would include the link for the textures in the description below, and also it'll be in the download on where to get the textures. So let's get back into it. So we want to create a, a glossy material. Now let's create a glossy material, go to the no editor. Uh, image texture, connect the image to the fuse. All right, let's load up our image. Oh. 
let's add the texture to our plane and let's refresh it. Let's see what we got. Okay, uh, let's see. Let's see how that looks in motion. Let's add a little bit more roughness to the to the texture so that we get just a little bit of sheen so it don't be so glossy. Also, if you want a little bit more details, you can al always go back to the plane and add more segments to it. And we could increase the turbulent size, the strength of it, you could probably put it to like 1200 if you wanted to. Obviously, the more detailed it is, the more, the slower the computer is gonna become. Let's go back and use this one we'll back, put it back to 40 because that's not helping. But we're seeing a little get slower. Now well, let's see our turbulence, where we are on our turbulence. Let's bring the scale back up a little bit, but let's add some Z axis. Okay. Looks pretty good. I mean, yeah. So you don't want to do too much because it will crash, I think. Let's bring it back to, let's try different uh, turbulence modes. Okay, gravy doesn't do anything. Standard, let's see if we standard. Okay, standard, we got something going on here. Okay, cool. So yeah, there's a cool little quick X particle cloth thing. Also, we can even fix up the edges here by uh, adding the subdivision, adding to the subdivision surface, fix up the creases a little bit. But yeah. Looks pretty cool. Let's see how long it takes to render here. I got to say, I, I admit, uh, I like the way the the laptop is handling this this scene. It's pretty. I mean, the scene is pretty light, but uh, in terms of graphical graphical performance, is is working pretty pretty well. Uh, let's try to get a thumbnail out of it. Something that's super float floaty. Let's increase culture. All right, let's get something that's really nice for you to turn in. So don't forget to cache.
All right, so playing around with the camera angles a little bit. So I think this is like a pretty good, uh, pretty good setup. I'm, I'm satisfied with. So yeah, that's it, guys. Uh, I'm gonna leave this to render. Um, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. All right, later.